Stoke-on-Trent. It's my city, my home. I have a passion for my football club, Stoke City. My greatest achievement is setting up the academy in Shanghai for Stoke City Football Club. This will be our 10th year of working with a school, the Western International School, but working with the Chinese government to educate people in not just playing sport to be good, but playing sport to be healthy and to enjoy it. My name's Angela Smith. I'm a former professional squash player. I actually started um, professional squash for women. I was in England and Great Britain International, won the World Championships. On both occasions, I was very proud. And I'm immensely proud of, of what I've achieved as a squash player in terms of not just playing, but as a coach too. I've managed to coach teams in Scotland. I've even coached in China. Playing professional squash got me to China in the first place. I was very lucky to go and play in China. And from there, as you know yourself, when you develop relationships with people, you, it opens other doors. I'm playing squash in China, and I go to a school to teach some people how to play squash in Shanghai. And whilst I'm there, I'm asked if I know of any football clubs who might send coaches out to China to help. So straight away, I walk through the door and I say, yes, yes, I know, and guess it was Stoke City. Every Stoke supporter, particularly in China and Asia, knows about Frank Su. It was really strange for a Chinese footballer, an Asian footballer, to be good enough to play for a football team. But not only was Frank Su good enough to play um, for Stoke, he also played for England. And in the wartime, he played internationals for England and played for Stoke for many years. And of course, now there's, there's this book about him, The Wanderer, which is very famous. Hey, it doesn't seem five minutes since we um, we first went to China. We're coming up for ten years. It's been a fantastic experience. Apart from the football, it's just been great, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a really positive experience for all our staff. The experience that they've had, seeing a different culture, a different part of the world, has really brought them on as individuals, as coaches. We had the pleasure of about 68 Chinese coaches coming over here to learn from us about the way we coach and to go back and promote Stoke City and promote the English business, the English Chinese. Business Council. Um, I think that's a real interesting uh, development in the partnership, isn't it? That that was. Um, we believe we've got some really talented people uh, that could help develop coaches that will in turn help other people develop their football skills. And I think that is a real opportunity. Well, I think given that it's been 50 years that there's been this partnership, this relationship, it proves that it's been a success. And every year it gets more successful. And now, of course, because there's been the Olympics, the Paralympics, and lots of younger sports like surfboarding, getting involved in, in, in the Olympics, that's better for younger people. Younger people like different sports. Now there's so many more sports you can, you can do. So for me, I think it's really, really important and, and it's been very good. Going forward, I think the collaboration will get bigger and bigger and bigger and become better. And I hope it does, and I hope I'm around a long time to see it blossom and flourish. Lord Mayor's ready. We have lots of Chinese visitors who, who come here to talk to us about our world-class ceramics yeah. and we have such a great partnership with China in this city. That's really an achievement actually. So I think we, the whole 50 years uh, we have achieved so much with the partnership with China. The contribution to the local economy and local businesses is huge. You know? and, and I think uh, it's very important to recognise the huge contribution of Chinese residents living in our city of Stockholm. When I first went to Shanghai uh, with the coaches, we got off the plane, 
a long journey, 17 hours, and we went straight to watch our first football match in China. And the first match we went to see was Shanghai Shenhua. It was a really wonderful experience, and I've just loved my time in China, and I hope it continues for many, many more years. Thank you for looking after me in China, and you're always welcome to come and watch the mighty, mighty Potters Stoke City. Sai Zhen.